Drupal VM is a local development environment for Drupal that's built with Vagrant and Ansible. It helps you build and maintain Drupal sites using best practices and the best tools. In this quick overview, I'll show you where you can learn more about Drupal VM, then show you a simple Drupal VM setup. The Drupal VM website gives a general overview of the project and links to documentation, Drupal VM source code on GitHub, and a link to download Drupal VM. I'm going to build Drupal VM on my Mac using the Quick Start Guide, linked from the website. First, you need to download Vagrant using the link in the Quick Start Guide, which is right here, and then follow the instructions to install Vagrant on your computer. Vagrant will install the only other required application, VirtualBox, the first time that you run it. If you're on a Mac or Linux PC, you should also install Ansible, as that'll help you have a better experience in provisioning new instances of Drupal VM. After you do that, go back to the Drupal VM website and then download a copy of Drupal VM. Once this downloads, open the copy and then duplicate these two files, example.config.yaml and example.drupal.make.yaml. After you copy them, rename them to config.yaml and drupal.make.yaml. This make file defines the Drupal website that you'll be building, and the config file sets up the configuration for Drupal VM. I'm going to change a couple settings in here for demonstration purposes, removing tools that I don't need. After you've done that, you can open your terminal and change directories into this Drupal VM directory using the cd command. Type in vagrant up, and then vagrant will start to build Drupal VM. This will take a few minutes, especially the first time that you do it, since it has to download some extra information to build the VM. I'm going to fast forward the video for a little bit while Vagrant automatically builds Drupal VM. Once the VM is built, you can visit dashboard.drupalvm.dev and this will show you a dashboard with an overview of all the information about the installed site, uh, MySQL, all the development tools you have installed, and the databases on your site, even including links to open the database in Adminer uh, to open the different tools that you have installed. You can also visit drupalvm.dev to see the Drupal site that was built. At this point, after I'm finished working on my project, I can shut down the VM using Vagrant Halt, or I can restart it with Vagrant Reload, or I can delete the entire VM and then rebuild from scratch by typing Vagrant Destroy. This is helpful when you're trying to test a few different ways of building sites or when you're trying to make your environment reproducible, it helps you to be able to delete everything and start over from scratch so you're more free to, to test new techniques and to try new software and modules that might break your site. As long as you can reload everything, you feel a lot more comfortable doing that. I'm going to be posting other videos demonstrating Drupal VM on Windows, Drupal VM with PHP 7, and how to use it with existing Drupal sites or multi-site Drupal installs. For more information about Drupal VM, go to drupalvm.com.